This episode contains content and strong language that may be unsuitable for the younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Is that a- oh my um, god, it's a Norwegian horse! No, it's a Mongolian horse. Oh. Welcome to the Heart to Heartland podcast. Here are your hosts. Welcome to episode 12 and welcome to the season 15 era. Like, yeah. how crazy is this? We so have exciting. arrived. We have <laughs> arrived. We at yeah. the first week of filming has been done. Yeah. Um, I'm so excited. It's been, I love seeing the pictures. Yeah, um, me too. And videos and like everything is just new and unpredictable. Yes. This is like, like making the predictions and like looking at the pictures, just like waiting for the premiere, which is 127 days away. Yeah, not that we're counting or anything. No, mark your calendars for October 17th. We don't even have to wait till next year. Yeah. Which is awesome. It's an early birthday present for you. For sure. Yes. So very excited. Um, Carrie was on set for one day. Yeah. He posted uh, a lot of pictures and videos, and I love that he's so excited about it. Yeah, you know, filming. Like the rest of us are <laughs> yeah. too. So I'm like, give us the content. Yeah, and he and since he posts so much, um, I, we kind of re- he's the only one who really posts that much. Is basically yeah. what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So because right at this point we don't know anything because Alicia's still in Vancouver. Yeah, that we know. Um, you know, we don't know anything about Katie. Yeah, I haven't heard anything from Michelle, and whether she's in Calgary. Or I not. think she is. Is she? She, uh, I think uh, she said in one of her stories, and she said something about a new apartment or oh something in okay, Calgary. I just that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I glad. think uh, Cape Cape is in Los Angeles. The last time oh, I saw, yeah, his wife hmm. posted a picture of him. So interesting like are yeah, we gonna see he peter has that show doesn't he yeah and because of how the season left off this is gonna be interesting to yeah. see what happens with like, lou mitch peter yeah like i wonder if uh you know if kevin was in this first block would he post about it or hmm. keep it as a secret or i have a feeling that he's not even gonna be in it though yeah it's just gonna be something that happens with that we don't see it's going to be like oh he left or whatever we're not going to see him again i i would be incredibly surprised if we see him again yeah like he's in kansas or something like yeah he went back to maya or some shit no (laughs) it's like sorry i made a mistake (laughs) like would you take him back i don't think so Mm, yeah no no that ship sailed so they kind of wrecked mitch for me yeah um I have a couple of other, like, like we're filming this on Tuesday. Yes. Like, sorry to ruin your illusion, but um, we don't, we only have like one day of filming yes. behind us, like that we know of. But um, I noticed some of the comments on Instagram from the cast, like when they're going to be on set. Like, for example, Amber said that today, which is Tuesday, is her first day on uh, set, which is oh, that's kind of like interesting. thing I've yeah. ever heard. Because usually... She's literally been on set the day of, day one, mm-hmm. forever, has she not? Yeah, I think they filmed that's in uh, the Rodeo Plant Crowns. Oh, for... yes, that makes sense. That makes yeah. sense. So I would assume, like, because Carrie was there, maybe... Chris, oh, Chris was in or well, Sean? Well, we know Madison or... wasn't there because yeah. of her Instagram. Yeah. And you know what? I was just thinking last night, they really need to do something with her character because she literally has been stuck in this same storyline for like five yeah. seasons. Yeah. So. I agree. Uh, so, like, we don't know if Chris was there, but like, we can assume. We assume so. Yeah. And it's interesting, like, Carrie is on his way back home to vancouver at this point so i wonder if they had like a full day of caleb or is he just gonna be yeah Yeah. like is he just gonna be in a couple of scenes like yeah he must have been in everything that's yeah that doesn't really make sense otherwise 
because that's like really weird that like usually they have the cast members for at least like a couple of days yeah unless yeah. he comes back like a week later yeah. for the studio series yeah and i've always wondered because sometimes they'll fly and sometimes they'll drive i just sometimes like i wonder how that do they get to choose yeah you know what i mean because i know jessica has flown in when she lived in la but she also drives too when yeah. i when the last time i was on set she was talking about how she drove so i mean i would imagine that sometimes if they have like enough days off or you know they're not working on anything else then maybe they make a drive out of it or and then if it's like a tighter schedule then they might fly in or yeah it's interesting how that works i don't know who whose decision that is yeah like someone coordinates these like mm. time tables for yeah. each cast members to use them wisely so to speak okay yeah but anyway uh amber said that uh funny enough i don't even work on set on monday which is yesterday for us i rarely get days off of filming but the way the schedule worked out it just so happened to give me one extra day it worked out well because all my horses are due for a trim and i have been so busy in the office i couldn't get them done last week so oh she God. had a farrier over which she posted about on her I'm instagram yeah the, old, the, the other thing that i was really excited about is that michelle nolden flew into calgary oh yeah like yeah. stoked and because chris is most likely on set yesterday which is yeah. Monday, that maybe she was too god yeah. a girl can dream I, i'm i'm really glad that we already know that you know yes. she's back and she's not like disappeared hasn't disappeared yeah between seasons. it's keeping me going it's like the new jack and lisa because we don't get updates from sean like almost ever let and yeah. jessica never so at least we have michelle nolden <laughs> yeah <laughs> like i hope she's active updating stuff or oh, post something no. oh my god i hope so yeah uh as for the spencer twins who play lindy mm. uh their first day is on thursday okay and they're very excited to go back to set apparently uh and then ava ava tran right. who plays parker said that uh she starts next week and that's all we know and then i don't why do i keep saying aiden it's aiden Aiden, yeah. Aiden Moreno, who plays Rick, is also back because okay, he put. Yeah, I freaking yeah, love Rick. He posted a picture it's of his script, animal. so you know he's probably back in. Yeah, I'm definitely first more excited episodes. about that than Ava. Like, that's nothing against um her personally. I'm just not like I don't like when they keep bringing in kids. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I guess they need to keep the younger kids like entertained or whatever. Yeah, I guess. Yeah um and they actually already released like a vague kind of mm, well, you know like not saying much yeah. synopsis that says um the Bartlett Fleming family has learned a hard lesson life is short and you have to live each day to the fullest in season 15 of Heartland they will put what they learned into practice last season Amy said goodbye to the past this season she embraces the future raising her daughter working with the horses who continue to heal her branching out into a new phase of her life and profession see so she is moving for forward and feels determined to leave a legacy in fact jack lisa lou and tim have all decided that now is not the time to pull back but to ramp up to create new dreams and fulfill old ones oh. And as they, yeah, and then, I didn't read it because I wanted to be genuinely surprised. So. Yeah, so this is your genuine reaction. This is my genuine. Yeah, and as they always do, the family will pull together to help each other, and will ultimately end up stronger than ever. I feel like every season has this like the last day, like, like they God, getting the same. like co copy paste yeah, every they copy year, paste every single year, and I think <laughs> the reason that this 
this um, description is very vague is because of what happened last year. Yeah, you know, some pro was some intern who leaked like the <laughs> word, like the biggest spoiler in the show's yeah. history. <laughs> They're like, we're not giving them shit this year. <laughs> yeah, and I saw people uh, worrying about you know Georgie because she was not mm. mentioned, mm -hmm. and you know oh it could God. be that she's not much in this season, but at the same time. Uh, I was thinking about that, like, she doesn't really have, like, past dreams or, like, things she might regret or anything like the other people on the show, because she's, she's not going to be in season 15, is she? I don't know. Or she's, you know, she's not, um, you know, burdened by the past because, you know, she has a tragic past, so she doesn't want to go back, so she's, you know, either having the best time ever because it's she's at the prime of her life, so to speak, mm. or, you know, I don't know. So, what I'm thinking is either it's going to be incredibly vague, like it was last season, she comes for like three episodes and that's it, but I kind of have this feeling that she's not even going to be in it, though. Yeah, like that would Alicia be... Alicia hasn't even posted about it, though. Yeah. But it would be a really big loss, I would say. Like, oh, yeah. last year we lost Ty, and now, like, if Choji's going away or, like... She's probably going to be in Florida with Quinn, yeah. which is obviously the easiest ride out for her. Yeah, and speaking of Quinn, I don't think Jordan is in Vancouver. No, sorry, Calgary either. Okay. So... I don't know, you know, but um, as uh, if you look at it like uh, real life, you know, it, it mm -hmm. would make sense that Georgie's out there, you know, doing mm -hmm. things. But as a audience yeah, member, too. it's like, mm. yeah, I'm wondering if it was, and obviously we don't know for sure at this point if she's whether she's going to be in it or not, but yeah. say she's not. I'm wondering if that was like a personal decision or a production decision. Because she has been on the show her entire ch entire childhood, mm -hmm. and I could imagine that she possibly would want to stop, right? And yeah, I else. would uh, assume that if that, you know, that were the case that she was not in it, much or at all that it was a personal decision because why would they you know kick her out or anything georgie's like story and her arcs like i feel like like obviously i was happy last season that she was doing great but i f almost felt like it was kind of sudden like there was not a lot of like struggle mm. and now if that's, she's like gone that's it's exactly like exactly it is because her and ty were so close and then like th she didn't not only didn't say anything at his funeral but she didn't really even come close to having the same struggle that the rest yeah. of the family had i don't know it just it felt like um yeah it just didn't feel like it didn't feel like georgie i don't yeah. know yeah and i think like <laughs> Well, I wasn't really, like, happy about the, her storyline last season because she wasn't in it a lot. It was mm -hmm. kind of like, okay, she's doing great. Like, that's great. But yeah. at the same time, I'm not watching the show because everything's perfect. Mm -hmm. So if this was, like, the last we have see her, it, it would be kind of a bummer because mm -hmm. I think they could have done so much more with her character and... But but Especially at the same now time, that she's older. Yeah, like I'm like I never used to like her, and now that she's older, I love her, and I don't want her to go. Yeah, but I'd understand it. Like she already gave so much of her childhood. Away. Yeah, for and sure. I I would understand if she did, but we don't yeah. know. Yeah, we don't and, know. We're just and, speculating. Yeah, and I hope that if she's not in it a lot or she's not in it at all, then they, like, use Madison to kind of mm. have that young woman yeah. storyline covered in a way. Like, it's yeah, just, like, like something. 
Yeah, there's a the positive side to possibly not having a lot of these main characters is that mm. we can possibly see more of. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can predict she where you're going. Steam. Yeah, that's my that's like yeah. a pro to this situation. There's a lot of cons, but I would be yeah, like with that. yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, we'll see. Like, maybe she'll come in later and, you know, she's... Yeah. Like, but at this point, we don't know. Um, Amber sent out her June fan club letter okay. earlier this month. And she, you know, she had the kind of vague announcement, like, as you've all heard probably by now, like, season 15 is happening. And then she had this... Uh, like little teaser about season 15 in it. I'm gonna read it. So I don't yes, know if you. This is a genuine reaction. To yeah. It. Okay. So you've not. I heard have, this. No, I don't have. I don't get her newsletter. So. Okay. So. As always, I am not allowed to give anything away, but I will tell you that we start the season with some liberty work, and those who Ooh. know me know how much I enjoy these stories. We also get to see Lindy and Amy have some beautiful bonding moments and, of course, lots of horses. Amy will continue to bond with her new horse, Shadow, but Spartan will still be very much in her life. Lindy and Harley will try some new things together and we will even meet a few new horses on the ranch. I think I will stop there, but hopefully that gives you something to look forward to. Hmm. I'm excited about the Liberty work. That's probably yeah. my favorite horsey thing on the show. Yeah, same. It's not, it's not a competition. I don't feel like there's any stress attached to it like there would be with jumping or barrels or whatever. Yeah. It's just kind of, it's just beautiful and it's just for fun, right? So I'm yeah. really excited about that. I'm wondering, like, um, if, you know, Amy is dancing with Shadow, is Spartan going to be, like, jealous? <laughs> yeah, and then Lindy, too. Yeah. Like, it's going to be... Oh, God. How old would she be? She would be going to school this season, wouldn't she? I think so. I mean, you know the Canadian school system better than... Let's see. Here. She was born in season 10. Yeah, so she would oh, be... Oh, yeah, like, she would be going... She'd yeah. be going to school. Yeah. She'd be... Especially with, with, with the, the jump. With the time jump. Yeah. Yeah, true. Uh, and to me, it was interesting to see, like, I know we saw last season Lindy with Harley a little bit. But it's yes, almost like... Sweet. Uh, you know, we're getting more Harley now that Ty's gone, which is kind of no weird. No kidding! But I haven't uh, seen him in, like, three years, and yeah. then he just pops up. That's the same with Copper, remember? We were talking yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah. But I, I kind of like it, because I always felt like Harley was kind of underused. Oh, yeah. So it's oh, kind of yeah. nice to see that, you know, they're using him now, and, you know, especially, you know, Lindy. His daughter. Uh, yeah. Like, that's just very That sweet. would be the sweetest. She grows up and, you know, Harley's her horse. Cause I yeah. Know. How old is That'd Harley? Be that's like... Well, he was... That's I... season two when Harley came in. Yeah. So he would be... Maybe like... Elderly. Like 18, 20 something. Yeah, he would be elderly. Yeah. In the but, but you know, that's kind of a good thing. Because, you know, she's just a little kid. So... He's not a wild horse. We asked you guys, like, what's your predictions for season 15? And uh, we got a few answers, and um, I'm going to read them right now and uh, okay. or react. I, I don't think you've seen these, or have you? Um, I'm looking at them now, but I'm not reading them, so you okay. can go yeah. ahead. Okay, so Stephanie Rowie... Rowe, said uh lou and peter are going to talk about getting back together but decide not to i have a feeling mitch might not be back but we'll mm. see we'll yeah. get to know quinn more like what what do you think i think that's pretty accurate yeah i i i don't know i mean realistically i don't think lou and peter can get back together because of gabe because yeah. it wouldn't, it would go back. It wouldn't change anything. He yeah, would that's still be going to Vancouver and back. What is the point? Yeah, that's the like, thing. Like nothing would change if uh, these characters weren't as attached to their, uh, you know, 
actors as they are, I would say like, yeah, Lou and Peter are going to get yeah. back together. But then at the same time, it's like, well, Gabe has yeah. a lot of other things he's working on. So. And Michelle seems to be doing things outside of Heartland for the past while too. So yeah. who knows? Yeah. I, just, I, I think that's pretty accurate. Yeah. I mean, it would be interesting if they really like, went in deep and actually did something like good with them like I would be open to it yeah. but I don't want any half-assed like yeah. let's get back together and then it's yeah. the same mistakes and same if I struggles wanted to see and... that I'd watch season eight Thanks. yeah exactly so so yeah that's we'll accurate. see yeah I, I, I don't think Mitch will come back though mm -mm. I yeah, so. I, like I, I will be so. surprised if he does because, like last season, mm -hmm. I was like really like yeah. setting myself. Well, you know none of us knew, right? It yeah, was, like, a total surprise. I remember just seeing Kevin, and I was like, "What the heck?" Because yeah, he in the didn't last say anything, and Kevin didn't either. Yeah, like he right? he I said so. He said like around the last two episodes, like a few weeks before that. Um, a fan asked him like are you going to be on heartland because they were wrapping up when calls to heart and he's like well, in a couple of weeks yeah and then he posted like a picture from his trailer with his cowboy hat and then oh, we ha we had a um, video of michelle editing her episode so we saw yeah, kevin so it was kind of like okay it. he's in it but like what's happening with him like um, then Heartland underscore uh, JL fan, uh, yeah. yeah, said uh, Lisa babysits and hangs out in the kitchen. <laughs> Lol. Oh my god! <laughs> Not a lie in sight. No. <laughs> no lies detected. Yeah, yeah. Like, who's she gonna babysit though? Oh, I guess Wendy. Yeah. Maybe Katie. if Amy. I mean, we don't. Yeah. Yeah, if Amy's like going back to work and doing things so. yeah. but I was, that's funny that you that now that this brought up it reminded me of something really random i was watching a season 13 episode where amy was working with one of the this is actually the episode i was just talking about georgie's graduation mm. and lisa calls amy her great granddaughter or was it her granddaughter no because georgie would be her great granddaughter yeah and i i don't know if i didn't notice that the first time but she like called amy her granddaughter like oh. my granddaughter Amy's training. That's what she said to Quinn. Oh, Quim. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, like holy. Yeah, like, I wonder About if time. she was kind of like cutting corners or whatever. Like, this guy I'm married to, but we don't have kids together. But we're kind of like, I'm kind of like. <sighs> yeah, Quinn, it's too hard Quinn, to explain. Yeah, Quinn yeah. would have been like, okay, like, I don't care. But like, what are you trying yeah, to say? <laughs> And I feel like Georgie would explain it to him outside of what we see, right? Just yeah. In that world. Yeah. I'm not saying that she isn't, but like, you know, no, I we know haven't it's heard it. It's a long story. Yeah. yeah. Or even when um, Tim always called Lisa Jack's girlfriend, but Jack's never called Lisa his girlfriend. He called her his lady friend once. Oh, uh, yeah. True. Yeah. I, I would imagine that Jack doesn't like the word girlfriend maybe at yeah. this age but yeah that's funny uh, then uh Liz Aiken Liz Aiken forever oh said, I recognize that username. Yep, said Tim um moving out of the RV and hopefully into a new place with Jessica and then they added Again, no mention of Shane. I'm trying reverse psychology. Honestly, at this point, it would be an insult to mention Shane. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> such really? An insult. Really? Like, like oh 10 years? God. What? Like, I, I just, if I could ask, like, the writers any question, it would be about Shane. Yeah. Because it doesn't make any sense. Like I just bring such a pivotal character in just to never hear from him again. Yeah, like if Sam Duke is not gonna come back, like just use another actor. Like yeah. you've done it they, before. They did like three Katies, I mean. Yeah. And like two Jessies and 
Oh yeah. Yeah. So that was weird too. I hated that storyline. That was so random. Yeah. Did you like, like that one? With well, I thought at first it was interesting to kind of see uh Briar Ridge and Heartland kind of competing mm-hmm. yeah. again. But then it was kind of like oh kind of like mm-hmm. he's just a, this And then he kind of just goes away too. Yeah, like, he's just like trying Ridge. to destroy Tiny Amy like because of something they did like seven years ago. I don't know. Oh my god. Talk so, about petty. So yeah. It was kind of like I expected more. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, but do you think Tim moves out of the RV or like w- what's going to happen with Tim and Jessica? Like, are they going to get more serious or? I hope so. Well, they left off by going on a trip, right? So I'm yeah. assuming that's, um, I, I don't know if he's going to move out of the RV. His living situation is so weird. And, and we know that they're not going to be building another, exactly. Um, there's no room in the studio to build another set yeah so either they were both gonna be living in the rv or at the dude ranch but there's no way that we're ever gonna see where they live just like with caleb and Cass, we have no idea where they live yeah i wonder if they're gonna like solve the situation by being like well we were on the road for so long like we need a little bit bit of a space like we're not living together and i'm assuming they'll probably take it slow but i don't know i just feel like um the chemistry is just off the charts like yeah. i'm I, I would i think that the, maybe they should but yeah. just to see where it would go but we, we wouldn't see it well just like with janice they, they were in her trailer <laughs> yeah uh, do you see jessica being the kind of person who would like to live in an rv or um i i would think I maybe mean, she's she like to be a traveler but... yeah she could be like, well, this is kind of adventurous, but, you know, after a while, maybe not so yeah. nice. Um, after being, you know, traveling with Tim for so long. But that also happened with Casey. Yeah. So I don't want it to be repetitive. Yeah. And I annoying. think Casey was more like RV type of person mm-hmm. or trailer living. Well, yeah, Jessica comes from New York, right? Yeah. Or, yeah. I mean, she could surprise us because yeah. she has so many times already. Yeah. Like, she knows everything, like baseball and yeah. polo and photographing. Well, that's interesting because I um, definitely want to see that relationship grow, but how would it do that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. limited um, space to do so. Well, say what Amy Ty's has. I knew for sure it was never going to finish yeah, because there's same. no room in the studio. Yeah, uh, and I'm just trying to think, uh, did they live with the RV or just are they get, staying in hotels or like, what do you think? I, okay, I can't remember because I haven't seen that episode in a while, but did weren't they going to like go jet setting or something? I don't know, right? Uh, weren't, weren't they supposed to just go and travel and take yeah, I, I and don't, pictures? I, yeah, I don't know. If they mentioned I'm, I'm gonna I mean, have to rewatch that again. Uh, but, I think uh, they just talked about traveling. I don't know if it was in depth like that. Yeah. And I wonder like what the financial situation with Jessica mm-hmm. is like. Is she able to is buy a house? Like, yeah. Or is it gonna be like a Jack and Lisa thing though? Because yeah, she probably <clears throat> has money. Yeah, but like she, she quick sold her working? shares, didn't she? Oh yeah, true. Okay, yeah, that would yeah, make she, a lot of money. She's probably loaded. <laughs> yeah. Now that you said that, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, she doesn't have to worry about money, probably. So, yeah, that would be interesting to see if she would be the RV type. Yeah. I mean, I can see that, you know, the season starting off with them being, like, kind of not in a bad place, but, like, arguing and having, like... God, I hope not, though. Yeah, it's just because it's just so just typical. For, yeah. And then, yeah. you know, they don't have to think about, you know, them settling down or any sets and they can just yeah. have them. Do you yeah. think they'll get married? Like, Maybe, even if like, not this season, like, fingers crossed, you know, it'd be great to have more. But do you think that Tim would ever get I mean, married? I can see that. You yeah. think? 
Yeah, I think so. I mean, Tim would probably want to get married at, at least. I mean, oh my god, I would be, I would die for a Tim Fleming wedding. Yeah, like we haven't seen that. We've seen engagements and you know him trying to oh, propose. Genius. Oh god. And so, you know, I can see him being like, yeah, I want to marry her. But, uh, you know, I don't know about her. Like, that's a big step. Well, yeah, because she had such cold feet before. But, yeah, yeah that's, the, that's what we're talking about, though. This is why we're excited for season Yeah, 15. And, you know, I know we have Quinn and Georgie as the, like, uh, romance kind of. Yeah. Like, we don't know where Lou is at, like, with Peter, Mitch, or no one. But, you know, I think we need a little bit of romance. Mm-hmm. And, I and think, you know we're not going to get it from Jack and Lisa. Yeah. I mean, I wish. Yeah. And well, I, I, I mean, we kind of got it in season 14 with one episode. Yeah. I remember in the hotel. But, yeah. 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 What do you think about, like, you know, Amy? Like, is she, like, the description kind of didn't say anything about romance. And I'm kind of glad because I... I think it's going to come up. It's definitely going to come up. I'm, yeah. I'm thinking whether or not... I, I doubt it's going to turn into something, but it's definitely going to be brought up. Yeah, and I agree what Nina said. Uh, yes. Uh, like, Lou is c- probably going to be the person to bring it up. Like, I know this guy. and Like, maybe you should just go out on a date. And i don't know like i'm already like no don't do that and it would make her be such a hypocrite because she hated when lisa did that to her. yeah but it's it's always like they're pushing lou to do these like things that need to be done because she's yeah. pushy and yeah you know they can blame her on everything <laughs> so i think it would have been cool if they would have brought in a new main character because we don't really see Georgie. Yeah. And all that stuff, just, but I don't know. Bring it in like a new ranch hand or something. Yeah. That's realistic. Realistically, they would have more. Yeah. Help, yeah. Because, because of Jack's age. Yeah. And if Amy is working more, like Ty's not there anymore and she has Lindy, like, yeah. she, and if Georgie's not there, like Caleb, I don't know. That seems kind of like going too far back like i would love to see cassandra this season yeah me too and it's like interesting when i saw that carrie was heading back home Mm. i thought like one day like really like yeah but then then i kept thinking like they can't get caitlin for one day but you know she lives far away um she lives in Toronto. yeah so maybe it's not that nice and you know she has kids and maybe other stuff so yeah well that's the same with madison too yeah like i think or i wonder like um do they even ask her and she's just saying like you know that's not wor- worth it for me or you know i don't know because i wonder if she would have her kids with her and i probably assume so yeah i don't know yeah Yeah. none of my business but just yeah but it definitely factors into Mm -hmm. yeah people's decision to go in and you know film something yeah Okay, so that was our episode for this week. I mean, I know it was just, you know, about season 15, but, like, we're excited. We right? are excited. 127 days, guys. 127 yeah. days. And next week, we actually have one week behind us, yes. you know, so we so know more. Cool. Yes, and hopefully pictures and stuff. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, we'll get a better idea of you know what could possibly be happening and we'll speculate mm-hmm. and you know keep you updated and involved as well yes, so if, if you want to be on the show to talk about it just dm us yeah like we'll, we'll read your stuff yeah 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 we got you guys we got yeah. you so as always i guess you can always just keep your nose clean until then and And keep your powder dry and away from children. Yeah.